Hey, 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 it's Matt Dolire. It's a really, really good time to be a fan of folk music right now, with so many singer-songwriters bringing back the wholesome sounds from the 60s and the 70s, like Sharon Van Etten or Laura Marling. Steve Gunn and William Tyler actually have albums out today. They're very much in the same vein, very carefully composed and really lovely stuff. If William Tyler is more on the countryside, and actually his new album is called Modern Country, then Riley Walker puts more of a jazz spin on this sound. And this very strong jazz-informed musicianship is why he's my favorite of all these folk revivalist artists. The Half Wood in Me is his new single from the album that's coming out in August called Golden Songs That Have Been Sung. I think it's all going to be kind of inspired by the city of Chicago. This is going to be the follow-up to his second album, which I've got right over here, Primrose Green, um, actually in my top 25 albums of 2015. Really jazzy, dynamic collection of tracks with jaunty instrumentals and some really fresh lyrical takes on some of that down-home, Little House on the Prairie language. That album wasn't only intricate and well-performed, but it was really brimming with passion and a real sincerity, which was probably its biggest strength. And this new song just pushes this same sound into an even more confident and self-assured territory. A luminous woodwind-led intro takes its time with unexpected chord changes. It's a really cool opening to this track. Then some twangs come in and we plumb it into a more warm and familiar Lazy River Jam. And each instrumentalist, like on Riley's past work, is really taking their artistic liberties by adding these little flourishes here and there and creating this enveloping texture. Then Riley's voice just kind of slides in there with a lower and less dramatic Robert Plant styled melody. It is a little bit repetitive and doesn't quite live up to the splendor of the instrumental. But I don't think his vocal melodies ever really have ever since that first album. And when he's not relying on those harsh yelping tones like in the song Summer Dress or Same Minds, it can come across the vocals as a little bland. But this song comes to a really impressive climax with great drumming and agile guitar riffs. It's an almost two minute instrumental conclusion that has me really, really excited for what's to come on this album. The whole song is a lilting dance bubbling with energy and ideas. Make sure to let me know what you think of this song. Um, it's going to be coming on this really cool pink and blue double vinyl. I don't think I have any of that in my collection, so that's really cool. Uh, and watch out for another single review of Beck's new song, Wow, coming up pretty soon. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and again, thank you so much for watching.